Hi, my name is Ella Kaufman and I'm from Atlanta. Has there been a specific moment in which your gender has impacted your capacity to pursue your career development goals? Ella, certainly while I was having kids and when my kids were young, those were challenging times. Um, but those are really just more life choices. Um, I, I, certain situations where I would have and in, be invited to, to give a podium presentation at an international meeting, for example, and it was my son's birthday. And then you really just make choices. Start to learn that if you follow your North Star as to what's important to you, that you always make the right choices. When I've had to make those choices, I've always erred towards making sure I made it to the birthday party. Um, and then other opportunities come. But I also have gone to my mentors to ask the questions of, huh, given this opportunity and that opportunity and what I have going on in my life, what would you do? And generally I get some really good advice that way. Hi, I'm Anna Rakwalski from Atlanta, Georgia. The workplace can play a key role in empowering women. What have you found helpful in your workplaces that has helped attract, keep, and grow women in STEM? Anna, the best thing is mentorship. And, and I have always said, surround yourself with people that are smarter than you are. One of the things that I find so inspiring about doing that is I'm constantly learning, I'm constantly growing. You have to check your ego at the door when you do that, because there are a lot of smart people out there. But I find that so inspiring, and I learn more by talking to people from different places, different worlds, different areas of expertise, and that's really what I find inspiring because every day you learn.